Moses Jukebox and Curl OS. <clears throat> that was a Black Angels track called Currency. Then before that was King Tough, Black Moon Spell. And we started off with the Datsuns, Caught in the Silver. And we're here with my guest, Robin Hitchcock. Hey, Steve, how are you? How are you doing? I'm, uh, I'm all wheezing away, thanks. Are you sick? Uh, only mentally I'm like, all right, like flu what well, you got <laughs> I got bronchitis so I've... and you shook me hand and everything well yeah could have gave me a warning did but you know I mean it was yeah <coughs> sorry about that <laughs> <laughs> and you're here with your man you drink my coffee Luther Russell L Luther Russell hello, hello. Luther hello Luther Russell from Pasadena yeah I like how you pronounce it too Luther it's better yeah how do American people say, say it? Luther. 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 Luther Russell. It's better as a How are Luther. you, Luther? You're very aloof, Luther. <laughs> um, so, what are you doing? You're 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 working. The, you're working it. I saw I saw you were on uh, another station yesterday doing your your magic. Uh I've got a show. I had something last night at the Grammy Museum. Yeah, you, yeah, you was honoured at the Grammy Museum. I was Museum. on. I've reached that stage in life where they start wheeling you into a museum before they put you there permanently. Yeah, you must know the feeling. I, you been, know. I, I, I did a thing there for my book last year, last last this this uh, January. Yeah, I have a book out. Yeah. Ah, so they, did you do like Q and A and stuff? Yeah. Asking you all that. And yeah, it was fun. People taking you back to uh, West London, you know, in a hypnotic trance. Well, I was already that, taken yeah. back there when I did the book. And nothing, you, there was no big secrets. Yeah. I knew everything. I just hadn't yeah. put it on paper. Wow. I didn't have any revelations as I was doing the book. Right. Nothing new came back to you. Only yeah. I didn't realise how good looking I was when I was young. It's a good thing we don't realise that at the time. At the time. Yeah, yeah, no. I know it's staggering how gorgeous we were, especially the Brits. We were a fantastic looking That's bunch. Yeah, you, yeah. Used, you used to be good looking. I was good looking once, ch chiseled features. I used to see, <laughs> I used to see Jonesy in the, you know, the NME and the the Melody Maker and stuff like that. There'd be pictures of him with a can of lager in some Cigarette. some street in London, and we'd think, God, I wish we could do that. You yeah, know? look at that good-looking yeah, bastard. Look yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I had never dreamed that 400 late, years later we'd all be in a radio station in L.A. In a cubicle. Are, you know. And we're yeah. all functioning. We're functioning, you know, professional. We've got a lot, I mean, you can't see us, readers, but we've all got a lot of hair. We've got a lot of hair. Tons we've got of a hair. lot of glasses. We've got uh, the glasses have popped up on us. Uh, with a bit of luck, I haven't infected Jonesy with anything too lethal, but we have got some wet ones here. Just some in wipes. Case. We've got some wipes. Uh, you know, this is incredible. A mere 40 years ago. When, when were you in, um, it, like, Chiswick, Stamford? When, when, when I was, when I was, well, since I was born. But I used to hang out in Chiswick, Hammersmith, when my mate used to live at, at, at what's the what's the train station in Chiswick? There is it Chiswick? There's there's it's Stanford. It's Stanford, Hammersmith, uh, Stanford Brook, Turnham Green, Turnham Green, and then there's Chiswick Park. Um, I think yeah. Turnham Green was the Turnham one Green I, was the one I used <laughs> to get out at. God, that was my local for about like, last time we met. You know, I was about I, I spent about nearly twenty years there. But that was uh, that yeah, was Chiswick, yeah. though. Turnham yeah, that Green, was Chiswick. Right? Yeah. yeah, Turnham Green, and uh, God, there was that. <laughs> Things like the Majestic Grill in Ham. Was it the Majestic? What year are you talking about? Oh, God. Well, 70. The first time I got there was in the 70s, like yeah. early 70s. But I moved back there in the 90s. Ah, I, I, was, uh, I was frequent around them areas in the uh, mid-60s to 70s. I was, I was around. My mate of mine lived yeah. there, Jimmy Mackin, who's dead now. He killed himself. Oh, he was a sweet guy. He, we was good buddies, and uh, he's in my book. Oh. And um, yeah, so I I got fond memories of Chiswick Ravenscourt Park. Yeah. I think I had my first kiss in Ravenscourt Park when I was about eleven. Oh, what what year would that have been then? Sixty-five, sixty-six. You, when right. I was at school still. When. What year were you born? You've 55. Oh, okay. Jeez. 
I'm older I'm, than I'm you. Even, I'm even no, I'm old. I'm I was born in '53. Oh, you're older. I'm the senior dude. Yeah, I remember the trolley buses. Um, the horses? No, the trolley buses. I, 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 even I don't remember the horses. Yeah. I've seen pictures <laughs> of them. You ain't, you ain't lived, man. You ain't seen horses. <laughs> We're not. Oh, on, God. Sorry, mate. Um, Chiswick High Road. I haven't seen horses yet. Yeah. Sorry, Jonesy is applying a wet one to the to my breathing boat, area. To my boat race. To his boat race. Yeah. But yeah, fond memories. Fond memories as a kid around them areas. <laughs> you know, it's great. Uh, uh, it was a, it was a such a that area Chiswick, uh, Ravenscourt Park. It was such a not a violent place. Uh, it wasn't. It was like innocent. There was an innocence yeah. around that part of London. Yeah. That when I was a kid, that I never felt threatened or anything really? dodgy. You know, I mean there was dodgy stuff, but don't you think the world's changed completely? Gone. Or is it just stay away from the TV? <laughs> well, yeah, if you disconnect yourself from the news, maybe it's not really happening. So I do that more and more. Yeah. yeah. But but, uh, but, the, the, but unfortunately, even if you don't look at the news, a lot of people do. Yeah. And let out their anger oh. on you when you're driving or wherever. Don't you notice people are a lot more angrier than they used to be? I don't know. I think people have always been potentially angry but there's just so many of us now and there's nowhere to go really you know i mean if you look at pictures of london when we were kids it looks like there were two cars in each yeah. street oh i know you know it's and i'd nick two of, and lifetime. i'd nick four of them you'd nick four of them <laughs> yeah <laughs> well you were ahead of the game that was that another case. great thing back then you could nick cars with a coat hanger you didn't even need keys. Really? And well, they had a little place that you put the coat hanger in. Or, or, and, a, and a comb. You know, like, oh, yeah. remember, remember the combs, a silver one with a long silver bit? Yes. Where you hold it, you sharpen that. Yeah. And you just stick that in. in, in <coughs> oh, God. Let me get another one. Sorry, mate. And then, um, you uh, <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. Yeah. And, and also, what was great back then, there was there was no cameras. Well, there's no closed circuit cameras. There was no yeah, cameras. Was, yeah. yeah, it wasn't Orwellian like it is now. It was great to be a, a thief back then. There was no. Well, that's, that's why yes. they put the cameras in. Because of you. <laughs> that's a good point. So what you're doing? You you're doing a tour of. You're also playing. Um, hold on. You're playing Sunday night, October first at the Regent Theatre. I am with Yola Tengo, who are backing me up. I'm that, doing my first ever solo, playing my first ever solo album live. But with a band. But with a band. Do you normally play and with yourself, it, right? Uh, <laughs> I can. Yeah. Pardon uh, the pun, I, but I, seriously. Um, I, well, Luther's, the thing is these days, it's very expensive and difficult to have a band with you all the time. But you can get them locally. So Luther is in my LA, LA band, contingent. The yeah. LA Squires. But actually, my LA band is not playing with me on Sunday. It's Yola Tengo, who are from New York. And are they offended, your other band? Uh, you'd have to ask. No, whatsoever. You don't care? No. I'd be offended. No, I like it. I like YLT. They're um, cool. I mean, we'll do some stuff. We, we, me and the LA Squires will actually hopefully be appearing in, in London before too long, if it's still there. Oh. So um, You don't have a band over there? No, it would take me so long to, to train up a bunch of Brits. It's easier oh, so to bring don't... Americans. I live in Nashville now. Oh, okay. I'm like you, I'm an expat. Okay, you live in Nashville. I just sit there looking at old photographs of, you know, Chiswick High Road, green. turn them green and going, oh, <laughs> blimey, those were the days. You know. <laughs> Look at the two cars. Okay, so these are the ones Jonesy would have nicked. You know, yeah. I mean, oh. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I'm so glad I don't live there anymore, to be honest with you. Well, you wouldn't, you, I mean, you know, you wouldn't, it's just clogged. It's, yeah. it's backed up. It's everything is the world is backed up like a drain, you know. Not even, um, not even some uh, thing you can unblock it. What's that stuff called? Drano. No, the other stuff. Uh, Liquid plumber. Yeah, whatever. One of them. <laughs> you know, for your Aris. Ah, uh, yes. I don't know. I don't know what's going to unblock us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something soon enough. Okay. But, uh, so, but, but if you were pinching cars you must have been driving them as well yeah that was the, that was it 
I wasn't right. selling them. I was just uh, joyriding. Oh, I see. So you just sort of get one and then... Most people, I'm sure, got them back. So you just take it and I was very considerate. Oh, that's good. Did you put them back near where you picked them up? Uh, some of them. <laughs> <laughs> Not all of them. <laughs> okay, this is good. Not all of them. Right. Some oh. come back with a few dents yeah. where I was taking Mandrax and smashed into other cars. Oh, Mandrax, the motorist's friend, yes. Do you ever God. take Mandrax? Ah, uh, come on. I did, I did. How good were they? Well, they weren't very good at what they wanted me, the person who gave me them wanted me to do on them. Oh, Sorry, man. that was a clumsy sentence. Yeah, yeah. So good. It used to make um, me horny. My yeah, fingers right. used to tingle. Oh. Mandrex. Yeah, no, you're right. No, it didn't quite have that effect on me. Uh, it was like being very drunk without drinking. But you didn't, don't you remember that? Like, it was, it was different than... Is it like yes. Quaaludes? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's our, similar. it's our version of Ludes. Yeah. Yeah, drunk without yeah. drinking. But, I, I, yes, I remember somebody... Uh, somebody who thought like they might like to get close to me in a in a physical way spit it uh, out son. yeah all right way back in the early 70s um uh people would sometimes for some bizarre reason want to go to bed with you and somebody why we were, I don't we know good why. Looking. Well, because well, we were good looking. That's it. That's yeah. why. And young. Yeah. I was. I was young, and I was. I was young, and I was good looking. Yeah, I must have been. So, somebody gave me a mandrax, but it didn't work the way they were hoping. Birds used to throw themselves at me. I'm not surprised. You were wandering around with a can of lager and a ciggy, and you'd obviously been joyriding. You knew the world. I knew the world, and now I'm invisible. Uh, not quite. I mean, well, people, people know who you are and where you are. They've read your book. Yeah, I know, but... You know, it's... Um, they don't throw themselves at me like they used to. Well, it to. might be harder to catch them now. I couldn't. Uh, I mean, it's, you know... I, uh, uh, when you're 18 and hormonal, you're there. You're just... You're a receptacle. You're ready. Right? You know, exactly. You're just a walking deal, though. <laughs> Very much. I'll quote you on that, Steve. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I, I think that's what I was. I didn't know the words, the, the right words then, but yep, that was me, self. But I was less of a walking dildo with the aid of mandrax. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, what? 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 Uh, readers, you, I should point out, I was coughing in the opposite direction to Steve okay. at this point. I was coughing towards Luther. That's fine. Okay, thanks. I was already sick. Do you want to do a song? I suppose we should. It would be great. We haven't done one yet, have we? Um, Ladies and gentlemen, let's, the walking okay. dildo. Let's do let's do the the first track off the album, and then we'll have done it. Okay, Luther's keeping his glasses on. I'm taking mine off. Steve is safely out of range. Okay, Robin Hitchcock we with guitarist Luther Russell. Here we go. They're playing tomorrow. No, you're not. I I'm. Oh no. October first at the Regency. 1st, yeah, Jones's jukebox. Callowest. They're going to play live right now. Here we go. You think I'm a thug? I hear you thinking I'm a thug, sentimental like a thug. Well, I lack the physique, but yes, sir, it's a brutal try. We dive for pearls in the drain and hold dying competitions. Who can squirt blood furthest into the mouths of our cannibal overlords. I want to tell you about what I want. I want to tell you about what I want.
gentle socialismo no machismo and the only god shall be the god of l-o-v-e i want a non-invasive kind of telepathy that lets you feel what it's like to be somebody else feel what it's like to be somebody iPhone 17 boop, boop, ba, doop. And that could be our legacy Before the feline dynasty Scampers over history Skiddly bop, skiddly bop, skiddly bop And the machines Count up to heaven 24-7 But 8 billion zeros Is still zero If you got no I want to tell you about what I want I want to tell you about what I want I want to tell you about what I want I want to tell you about what I want Listening to Jonesy's Jukebox, <laughs> KLOS, with my guest, Robin Hitchcock, and his sideman, Lufa Russell. Is that a good word or not a good word, sideman? Does that make you sound less than? No. No, I, some of my favorite musicians are sidemen. I love being a sideman. Uh, me too. I don't want to be the front guy. I do both, you know. It's Mick, all good. Mick Ronson, talk about sidemen. The greatest. He was the man. Right, and if if you're Mick Ronson, that could make me Ian Hunter. All the Micks are good. Yeah. All the Paddies. Mick Taylor, Mick Ronson. <laughs> Mick, Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger. But he's not a side man. He That's is not the front. what Keith would tell you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was Blur, Park That's Life. how he would do. Park Life. And then you did a beautiful acoustic live version on the box here i want to tell you about what i want thank you yeah we did we managed to do that me and luther creaking through it sounds great thanks thanks so um do you ever play electric you're always acoustic yeah you know, i've seen you with uh, in, in in with electric i play electric yeah more on stage and i i played all electric on my new record i deliberately didn't put any acoustic on it but Acoustics are easier to carry around and, you know, play electric, you need an amp and then you need yeah. roadies and then you need, at this age, you know, I'm not going to be schlepping gear around the place. And I also, I can't see the pedals and stuff anymore, you know. When why, you're why don't you just have a computer like some of these young hotshots who I, make a million dollars a show? I should, but I'm, I'm just a bit old fashioned, you know, I just don't feel like... Earth a kit. I'm just an old-fashioned man. And that an old is exactly. Fashion, yeah. I am so much. I am so Earth a kit about this. Do stuff. you remember that song? I did, and it, I didn't realise what she was saying for about fifteen years. I thought it was an old-fashioned moodoo veneer, or, but it sounded like it sounded really kind of millionaire, right? Yeah, I, I didn't realise what she was saying. I thought it was just some kind of dirty word. She was after a bloke with some dosh. Yes, yes, I, I, I read, gleaned that over the decades, but to begin with, I just thought, ooh. Saucy. Well, there was no context, you know. They, I think my dad had the record, so I just... Yeah. Old-fashioned me, and I thought, yeah, yeah. wow, what is this? You what know? a great name, Eartha Kitt. Yeah, God. Was she, was she, she wasn't a bloke, was she? No, I think it was a, I think it was a bird. Okay. Let's Google her, see if there's any pictures. Does she have an Adam's apple? Um, <laughs> that, well, you just don't, you know, when 
I don't know. This is the sort of stuff that we had as kids. Really, was yeah. There were there were two cars in the street, and there was Eartha Kit. You know, I mean, it was pretty quiet. Yeah, that was it. Yep, that was the yeah. That's why we're so tranquil as elderly Brits. So, um, did you like that song? <sighs> we didn't we didn't put that on the paper, did we? Huh? T U S A. Was this the Ginger Baker? Yes, when he was in the band Masters of Reality. He's talking about a cup of tea. Yes, it, it's, it's, it, yeah. I, I can, I can see, see his point. Yeah, it's. Um, well, the way we approach tea is just different from the way they do over here. I don't even drink tea anymore. I don't even like tea. Did you before, or have you just been scared off it? By no, when I was in England, uh, it's very acidic. I don't yeah. like a lot of acidity. Acidity brings not goodness in, inside your tummy. It makes you sick. Maybe you're sick because you've been drinking too much tea. It's possible, senor. Yeah, I may have. I may have. Do you drink a lot of tea? Well, I do. Yes, I do in the mornings because it. What do you What do you drink? Uh, Brook Bond. Uh, PG tips. Well, over over here, if I can get it, PG tips. Uh, although I've just, I've been staying with. Um, my friend Richard, who's um, who's got hold of something called Taylor's, which is slightly posher, apparently. But you know, Taylor's. Occasionally, I get leaf tea. But did you used to drink it before you, before you wound up over here? Yeah, like when I was a kid. Right. Cup of tea and milk and sugar. Yeah, yeah. But when I came here, I, I changed from. I mean, I, I did a little bit, and then I tried the green tea, which is more oh, yeah. acidic than anything. Mm. And now I just drink coffee, with a. Uh, with low acidity in it. Oh, low acid coffee. Wow. Yeah. It's from Papua New Guinea. Mm. It's good stuff. And I can drink a lot of it and not 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 get my stomach in knots and and I don't get you know, it it, it stops you should drink a lot of water too, like alkaline water. Yes, yes, actually that's a point. I should rehydrate as we speak. Luther and I are opening our bottles of water yeah. here. Readers. But that's but that's not good. I mean, that water's okay, but you should uh, get better water with high pH in it. Mm. Ah. This is what Sex Pistols talk about when they're 62. Unbelievable. Yes, I must... Uh, right, I mean, yeah, 40 years ago, if someone had said, well, you're going to go and see Steve Jones in a studio in... Where are we? Culver, Culver City. City. Culver City, okay. You wouldn't have believed it. And no. he's going to be explaining about the kind of acidity that's... The you pH know, balance Your pH water. value in water, yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's... But, but then I'm I, a survivor. I, I didn't even think that I'd be here, you know, 40 years ago, let alone... Why not? Steve, or, you know... Why not? Well, I, I don't know. Did you think 40 years ago you were going to exist in your 60s? I mean, you know... I never thought I'd be dead. Well, you're not. I know. I never forgot them feelings. <laughs> Even when I was doing dope for eight years, I never mm. felt like I was going to die. Ah, uh, felt invincible. Didn't feel invincible. I never had that gloomy yeah. feeling where I think, well, I'm going to kill myself. And I've still never, very rarely get that feeling of wanting to kill myself. Even well, if I'm good. miserable, I want to experience life to the end, whenever that is. Well, then life, life will love you for it, I guess. Life. Probably not trying to trying to chase you off the picture did you when you say i what, can't believe i'm still here did well, you have feelings of suicide i not so much suicide i just thought i'd be removed you know i didn't think i'd kill me i just thought it would kill me <laughs> yeah i thought it's gonna like i still do i just wake up in the morning when's it gonna get me where's it coming from right. you know a heart attack north korea um north, you know north korea, wearing please. the wrong coming into the, the wrong t-shirt and this you know well that could have got you. When am I going to transgress the unwritten rule and be offed? So I don't, you know. You, <laughs> um, no, I'm, I'm never even bothered with the idea of suicide. I just assume it's going to get me anyway. So well, uh, it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Steve, that's good to know. Did you know? Yeah. Did not know that till now. Well, you know, I was a sheltered kid. A lot of things I didn't know. I didn't tell me. I didn't know what Eartha Kit was saying. Yeah. I didn't realise that I could have nipped up the road and hot wired some cars and joy read they didn't even have to hot wire them well I don't comb comb metal okay. comb 
And I mean, there's no Father Christmas. There, oh God, there ain't no Father Christmas. They told me there was a Father Christmas, and then like about two minutes later, they said, "Oh, you know, there isn't." That was really <laughs> confusing. I, I, same day. Well, almost the same day. Like the next afternoon, so I had this blissful day of thinking there was, and then they, yeah, yeah. That Father was, Christmas. <laughs> he's an idiot. <laughs> We say Santa Claus. Yeah. He's an idiot too. Yeah, yeah, they're both idiots. How about Chris Kringle? What about him? Who's that? We don't have Chris Kringle. Oh, that's what we that's also That's a great name for a singer. No. Yeah, we also call him. Okay. <laughs> Chris Kringle. Sounds like somebody who might have been in the New York Dolls. Or the Alvin Stardust. Alvin Stardust, who was originally Shane Fenton. Fenton, when in the 50s, yeah. He was in that movie, uh, there was that black and white English rock and roll movie. Oh, God, Espresso Bongo or something. One of them, one of them yeah. Cliff Richard ones. Yeah. Oh, he, he does yeah. a little song in one of them. I love all oh, that I, stuff. God. That's that, name, though. That is, I think, that is Espresso Alvin Bongo. Alvin or Shane? Alvin Stardust. Yeah. Well, he, he, he was Shane Fenton and the Fen Men. Well, that's But good. I think his real name was... Mick Bloggs or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which obviously means something different now. But, yeah. You know, in those days... <laughs> Mick it, Bloggs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, so he was ahead of the curve and the oh man Silicon if there Valley. was a curve mick was there he was he was just changing his name as the decades crawled by I used to, uh, he came on the box uh alvin stardust in 2008 when i was in wow. england oh he, he annoyed me because he wouldn't finish the songs he would start out doing cuckoo tune do yeah. like a, a verse and he would stop what like they he just give up no i think he did it deliberately oh. so, so you don't have the the live version oh i see he had that old yeah. way of thinking still you know that he might be bootlegged yeah kukachu wow did you have did, uh, did we didn't get it jealous mind was my favorite Kuka, is that a song kukachu yeah my kukachu he had he had a vocal delay the sort of gene vincent yeah you know the bibopalula yeah and, and that the way they used yeah is that where Lennon got goo goo gajub from i don't know i think that came first i don't know though you're going to do another song, or should we should we, should we play some music? Le uh, people, we're probably losing listeners by the hundreds. Oh Jesus! <laughs> okay. about Whatever you think is going to keep people interested. <laughs> Sorry. Um, let's do let's do. I pray when I'm drunk because it's quick. Sure. And then and it then you have to put, be quick. put some oh, proper let's do music that one. on. I got to get my cape off. Oh, oh no, I have oh, it. Okay. No, I have it. I have yeah. it. Yeah. Hang on. Okay. Let's do it. This is quite. You're putting quick, your cape on to play a song. Yes. Yeah. He's putting on his cape. I've got my cape on. I've got my shirt now. Robin Hitchcock, if you're wondering what's going on here. And uh, <coughs> Luther Russell. They're playing uh, October 1st at the Regency Theatre. I oh. can't say that name. What's the band? Uh, Yola Tango. Yeah. I'm yeah. Um, let's try it. Is it on three? Yeah. One, is it? A one two, three. <laughs> Well, I pray when I'm drunk I pray for guidance To get me from the sewer where I am Yeah, I don't know who to I pray to someone To get me on my way and give a damn Yeah, I pray when I'm drunk Pray when I'm sober I am grateful for the man that I've become yeah, I swarm with the bees and I who's with the mackerel And I think about you every time I strum Some things can change Some things you cannot change All things are strange the hammer of judgment as it smashes on my soul yeah i'm glad that i'm drunk i feel more open to spiritual leanings than i hope yeah i'm glad i was drunk glad now i'm sober i'm grateful for the hangover that's gone and i'm grateful to you and all the pickings from the carcass of the light of the life that I came from Olé! You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox 
Carl OS, that was Johnny Funders. Can't Put Your Arm Around a Memory from the album So Alone. Before that was The Faces, Ooh La La, from the album Ooh La La. I believe that's uh, Ronnie Wood singing, singing that one. Rolling Stones, Country Honk, and Alvin Stardust, Jealous Mind. Then we had the Bonzo, Do Do Dog Do Dog Do Dog Do Dog Band doing the intro outro song. Beautiful. And we're here with my main man, Robin Hitchcock, who's playing October first, which is is that Sunday it's this Sunday. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Regent. Yeah. Fantastic, Robin. Why thank you, Steve. So we're gonna do Brenda's Iron Sledge, Luther and me, and then the three of us are gonna embark on a, a Dylan song. A Bob Dylan song afterwards. Yeah. Thanks for coming by. I said absolute joy and yes. just great to find out more interesting things about life in britain as i as i missed it <laughs> there's so much more but nevertheless thank you let's 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 uh, let's rock and roll a bit. <coughs> anytime you're ready here we go marmite and jaffa cakes yeah. oh oops Head downhill, our hands fly back, our fingers freeze, our hair falls out, our hair falls out, our fingers freeze, our hair falls out. The iron piston pumps and spouts, the steaming air as hot as sprouts. Out aboard, Brenda's iron sledge, all aboard. on top a comfortable yeah they're sitting on a human chain a human chain they're sitting on a human chain the limbs compressed in icy slush a freezing in a rommy groove ah, all aboard Brenda's iron sledge all aboard
stars are falling And I've been here all day It's too hot to sleep Time is rolling away I feel like my soul has turned into steel I've still got the scars that the sun didn't heal It's not even room enough to be anywhere It's not dark yet, but it's Not dark yet 